This screen movie will be a quick demonstration of the eMarking Assistant package. eMarking Assistant helps markers provide useful and timely feedback using Microsoft Word. eMarking Assistant contains a Word add-in that adds a toolbar to allow you to quickly uh, mark assignments and also insert comments. The website also allows you to download a 30-day trial of eMarking Assistant. The eMarking Assistant website is eMarking-Assistant.Baker-Evans.com. This document is the download document uh, that you'll get when you download your eMarking Assistant. Depending on the way you've got Word set up, you may get a security warning. Enable the content and OK. I'm going to click on the second button which actually allows us to insert, uh, install the 30 day trial. And now that has installed. If I restart Word you'll notice there's an add-ins menu now. If I click on that you'll see there's a single button there that says show eMarking Assistant toolbar and I'll click on that. There are a number of uh, tools on this toolbar. Click on load. We'll browse to find a comment bank. Here's a comments bank and now that comment bank has been loaded. Now if I go to the comment picker you'll see that there are many more comments. And you'll see that the comments are organized into groups. There's a set of comments here on academic writing. eMarking Assistant contains a number of tools that will assist you. Okay, first off, this section here prepares, helps prepare you for marking the assignment. There's a little button here that says show spelling mistakes. And you can see already uh, word is identified as spelling mistake. There's another one here that will show grammar errors as well. There's another button here that shows invisible characters and the invisibles are things like spaces or, or um, uh, the return character or the enter character at the end of the paragraph. I'll also turn on track changes and I'll also show my changes. Okay, let's go through and mark this assignment. Very quickly we can just uh, use some of these things that Word has identified. So I'm just going to click on this and s select Start. So, it, And you'll see that with the uh, showing the comments makes it easy because that shows them in a different color. If I had that off you would just see the corrected uh, spelling. Okay, we'll just go through, make a couple more. Okay, uh, here we should really have a reference, so I'll use one of my standard uh, comments. We'll show the comment picker. We'll go down to academic writing, and you need to have a reference here. And I'll insert that comment into a speech bubble by clicking on the link and you'll see that the comment has just been inserted into a speech bubble on the side of the uh, page. So you can see it's very easy to to uh, insert those comments. We'll just read through a bit more. Here's another issue. This should really be MP3 player in capital letters. Uh, we'll just correct that first. MP3 You'll see again it's shown in a different color and then we'll insert a, a comment. Uh, here it is. Academic writing attention to detail. It's important to de attend to detail e.g. correct that capitalization because uh, mistakes will erode your credibility. And again you'll see the comment has gone on to the side. Uh, here's an interesting thing. You'll see here there's a paragraph of text where there's a return character at the end of each paragraph uh, line. That sometimes suggests that someone may have copied that 
um, holus bolus. So I'll just make a comment uh, at that stage. You'll see that this comment is quite a lot larger. It includes some text, but it also includes a uh, image of the show paragraph marks, as well as uh, some hypertext links. So you can see the prepared comments can be, you know, quite a lot uh, um, larger. We'll just scroll down a bit more. Here's something I might, in APA referencing, it shouldn't be called reference list, it should be called references. So we'll go up to emarking uh, the comment picker, just type ref.r and I'll find the comment and then insert it. We could, if we wanted to, also include an audio comment, but I'll lead, let you have a look at the documentation uh, for that. We can define comments on the fly and then save them uh, for future use. So I'll just put in a comment here. This is an excellent point. If I want to save that comment for future reference, I'll just highlight it and then go to Insert, Quick Parts, save the selection as a quick part give it a name tell it I want to save it in the normal document normal template and then save and then that comment I can use any time in the future we'll just show that briefly now so we'll load the comment picker that will reload the comments and you can see here is my comment. Some people are using eMarking Assistant to mark non-electronic assignments and the way they're doing that is by pick, opening up a marking sheet, finding the comments and then inserting them into the text of that marking sheet. And you'll see when it inserts the comment it puts a reference up here my initials and then the reference and they simply write comment number one on the assignment. The other thing in eMarking Assistant is some suggestions for how you might use marking rubrics and here we've got a marking rubric. It shows the criteria, review research and commentary about the web. This is how I'm going to grade this particular one. Select the highlighter uh, I'll use green and I've great said that's the category uh, that's the level that they've got and we'll put a mark in uh, for this one links will judge it as as this put the, the mark in if we scroll down to the bottom of this table you'll see there are total marks as well as the adjusted mark so if I just highlight the document and press uh, F9 that just recalculates and you'll see here that those two those marks that I added up earlier added in earlier add up to 8 8 out of 53 which becomes exactly 3 again using these automatic calculations doesn't save a lot of time but saving any time uh, will mean that you've got more time to provide uh, customized feedback uh, to your students. I will then save it and I'll save the mark in the file name. As I mentioned the major reason for saving the mark in the file name is that I can clearly see that this is the marked version of the assignment and this is the unmarked version of the assignment. And have a look at the website, which is emarking-assistant.baker-evans.com.